That looks fine so far and attempting barrel roll in 3, 2, 1. So in my previous video, I actually showed you a new way of mounting really heavy camera setups or really front heavy camera setups such as the Canon 200D which is really light with a combination lens which is really heavy such as the Sigma 17 to 50 millimeters f2.8 lens which was about 130 grams heavier than the body itself. So in this video, I really really wanted to put this new way of mounting to the test. Right now, what I have here is I managed to borrow Edwards. Canon EOS RP. Such a beautiful full frame cheap camera with a really really nice lens setup. It, this is the 24 to 105 millimeters Canon RF lens. This Canon RF lens weighs in at 695 grams whereas the body weighs in at 485 grams. So you can see a really large difference of about 210 grams between the body and the lens. I've already set up the lens if you want to know how to do this setup. I have a step-by-step -step tutorial in my previous video called DJI Ronin SC how to balance heavy or big camera setups so I've already mounted this only using one screw as you can see right there the camera riser together with the quick adjustment plate and only using one screw which is fit on the bottom so I can actually get the quick release plate further down the lens and together with the lens support to get a better balance so right now I'm gonna try it on and I haven't tried it yet I'm doing this video while this is my first time mounting this camera setup and we'll find out whether or not this works get your Ronin SC opened up and locked the axis again so that it it's easier to mount. So I'm gonna do the tilt axis first. I'm gonna unlock that. Okay, just like that, the tilt axis is done. I'm gonna release the roll axis right now. I'm gonna set the marker. So just once again, the DJ Ronin SC's payload is 2000 grams. This EOS RP with the RF 24 to 105 millimeters lens. Total combination weight would be about 1.18 kilograms. Got the first axis done. I'm gonna unlock the roll axis. All right, so that's done pretty fast, like less than 10 seconds or something. So we're gonna do the, redo the tilt axis pointing vertically. As you can see, it cannot clear the top axis. So that would be one major problem already. You can see it touching. And if we point it downwards, this side works. So we're gonna mount this side. So doing 360 barrel rolls is not possible. Viewfinder, the rubber cover actually already touches the, the roll axis. And this viewfinder rubber cover, according to one YouTuber who asked me to do this setup, this is not removable. Okay, so basically I'm gonna do a test. The tilt axis is a bit front heavy. I made it deliberately like that so that it will clear the pan axis and I'm just gonna see if it works. I'm gonna power it on, see if this uh, Ronin SC's motors are powerful enough to cater to the difference in the balance weight. And then I'm gonna do some auto tuning at the same time. So I, this is balanced, pan axis is balanced and the roll axis is balanced. So only the tilt is a bit front heavy. But we're just gonna power it on just to see if it is possible and then we'll try and do a barrel roll Okay, so you saw when I turned it on, it did droop a bit. But right now we're gonna do a auto tune, then increase the stiffness of the tilt axis and pray that works. So if it works, another reason to celebrate. Okay, so auto tune successful. We're now gonna try to do a barrel roll. It's looking good. Let's go into mode 2. Let's center that first. Mode 2 is... Uh, that clears as you can see. Different angle. It's very nice. So mode 2 works. Very nice. So it does... It is able to take the weight, although it's 
when we were balancing it, it was slightly front heavy. Took the gamble and it worked. So this pre, this last part, mode three, which is the barrel roll for me, I customized it to mode three. Here we go. That looks fine so far. And attempting barrel roll in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, we got it to work. The other direction. Alright guys, you saw that, it worked. Just uh, did some auto-tuning, made it clear the axis, and we're done. Thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. Canon EOS RP users celebrate once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!